After being dominated by straight white men for years, the MCU is beginning to look more female and a whole lot more Scarlet in Phase 4. And we're not talking about Elizabeth Olsen's Scarlet Witch from the Multiverse of Madness. Marvel just introduced a groundbreaking new superhero in the latest episode of Moon Knight. For those of you who haven't caught up with the series yet, this video will contain a bunch of spoilers. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, here's everything you need to know about the newest hero of the MCU. Who's the new hero on the block? Before you jump to any Steve Mark related theories, let us stop you there. It's not another one of their personalities, if that's what you're thinking. Let's double back to Moon Knight's season finale, which juggled a lot of plates in the final hour. A resurrection, a post credit scene with quite the twist, and a man screaming hippopotamus. Let's just say it was one chaotic episode, but then again, it was practically named Embrace Chaos. Guess we have that coming. Episode 6 was packed with plenty of action and emotional highs and lows, and the introduction of Moon Knight's third alter ego, Jake Lockley, just took it to another level. But by far the best thing about the chaotic finale was Layla's transformation into the winged superhero Scarlet Scarab. Marvel fans have been speculating about Layla's character arc since the beginning, but the show waited till the end of season one for the big reveal, and fans could not be happier with her superhero upgrade. We guess they were more thrilled about it, because for a moment it seemed like she would just remain Mark slash Steve's very human sidekick. If you've seen the episode, you know Layla didn't exactly jump at Towerette's offer to become her avatar, even if it would help bring Amit down. Just imagine if she actually turned it down. What a waste of potential that would have been. But boy oh boy, we were thrilled to see her in action and just in time to save Moon Knight from Harrow with her shiny new wings. Gotta give it up to the showrunners, it was a bold camp entrance that practically screamed fabulous and powerful. Scarlet Scarab according to the Marvel comics. We all know the MCU takes some liberties with the comic book versions of its superheroes, and apparently they've taken quite a few with their newest edition. Let's take a look at who the Scarlet Scarab really is, or was supposed to be in the comics anyway. If the Moon Knight series is is the first you've ever seen or ever heard of Scarlet Scarab, then you'll be surprised to know that this superhero has been in the game since 1977. The Marvel hero first appeared in the comic Invaders number 23, but the original hero wasn't some Layla L. Fowley. In fact, it wasn't a woman at all. Like we said, the superhero world was a man's world, and Scarlet Scarab was an Egyptian warrior, Abdul Fowl. We know, we know, the name sounds pretty similar to that of Layla's father, Dr. Abdullah L. Fowley. While it would make for a compelling fan theory, the Abdul Fowl from the comic is far from the archaeologist that we've seen in the Disney Plus series. In fact, he's kind of like the Egyptian Captain America, a country's symbolic, powerful protector. For now, we don't really know if Layla's deceased father was the original Scarlet Scarab. It looks like we'll have to wait for season two for that. What was the comic Scarab fighting for? So, we know what Layla's Scarlet Scarab is fighting for, to save Mark slash Steven, which is a pretty complicated love triangle, and to defeat Ahmed, of course. But the superhero from the comics was caught up in more political fights since the comic was set at the height of World War II. Faul Scarab had sided with the evil Axis out of hate for England, but before you go judging him, he only despised England for the power it had over Egypt. And you know what they say, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So he thought siding with England's enemy was the best thing he could do for his country. Of course, it was only a matter of time before he saw the Nazis for what they really were, thanks to Marvel's World War era heroes, aka the invaders. Abdul turned on the Nazis in the end. FYI, he also turned down the offer to join the invaders. Guess that Scarlet Scarab didn't need no man. What are the Scarlet Scarab's powers? Remember how we said that the Scarlet Scarab from the comics was like Captain America? Well, much like Cap from the first Avenger, where he leads his fellow soldiers in the fight against Nazis and Hydra, Abdul also leads a band of warriors, the Sons of the Scarab, supposedly the descendants of the ancient pharaohs. More importantly, they were the guardians of the Ruby Scarab. This might sound a little Indiana Jonesy, but it was an ancient artifact that could give superpowers to anyone who wields it. Any guesses where Faul got his powers from? Yep, it was the Ruby Ruby Scarab that turned him into the superhero we're talking about. We don't know about you, but it's giving us serious Black Panther vibes. Remember how T'Challa got his powers from the heart-shaped herb? From what we know about the Ruby Scarab, it gave Abdul super strength, but not Thor-level strength. It was more on the level of Spider-Man. It also sort of meshed his body with a mystic energy, which he could use to form a powerful force field, or shoot bolts out of his hands, kind of like Iron Man, just without the super expensive suit and arc reactor. That's not where it ends. The Scarlet Scarab could literally drain out an enemy's power just just by making physical contact with them. Oh, and did we mention that he could fly too? Makes sense considering the ruby was based on a winged insect. Man, Abdul was like two to three superheroes combined. Wouldn't hurt having him on your team. What's groundbreaking about MCU's Scarlet Scarab? The Scarlet Scarab sounds cool and all, but what makes Layla's superhero so groundbreaking? We mean, we already have the all-powerful Captain Marvel and the Scarlet Witch. Well, believe it or not, she is Marvel's first ever Egyptian superhero, and an authentic one at that. They sure took their sweet time with this one, 
but apparently Moon Knight could have gone down a very different path. According to reports, the hero's love interest was supposed to be the original Hawkeye's Echo. Lucky for Marvel, producer Jeremy Slater pushed to cast the Egyptian-Palestinian actress Mae Kalamawe. We gotta say, it worked out pretty well for them. Aside from trying to be as authentic as possible, director Mohamed Diab actively avoided all the Middle Eastern stereotypes that we've seen all too much of. A big part of our pitch was to avoid the, quote, orientalist look that always dehumanizes us, Diab shared in one of his interviews. But it wasn't just about representing the people authentically, they wanted to show Egypt as it is, and not as Hollywood's been showing us all the time. He even called out DC's Wonder Woman 1984 for not portraying the country honestly. Those of you who have seen the sequel might remember the big sequence in Egypt. Not only did the country look like a desert, it also looked like it was stuck in the Middle Ages. If that wasn't bad enough, they even put a sheik in the mix. Clearly, there's no difference between Egypt and the UAE. It was a shame for us, the director shared. Though many fans might think Moon Knight was a bit on the nose with their intro of Layla's Scarlet Scarab, but considering all the awful tropes, we guess we can let it slide. It's a pretty big step towards inclusivity, and May knows just how important she's become to non-white MCU fans. Quote, I hope that people who can relate to Layla feel seen and excited, the actress shared after the season finale. What's in store for Layla's Scarlet Scarab in the MCU? As much as we want to see Layla kick some evil butt in the MCU's Phase 4, it all depends on whether Moon Knight is renewed for another season. Although we're pretty sure that we'll see her return with Mark and all of the other personalities soon enough. The series might have started off a bit slow, but we got a pretty good season finale, with the big Scarlet Scarab reveal and the third alter ego. Hopefully that was more than just a tool to move along a fast episode and to tie up loose ends. While not everything in the MCU needs to be connected, we wouldn't mind seeing May and Oscar build on their Moon Knight roles in other Marvel projects. We're talking about one of the biggest cinematic universes out there, you can't tell us that this is the end of the line for May and Oscar. The series has done pretty well with fans, and quietly retiring two of the newest ethnically diverse superheroes of the franchise would be a major loss for Marvel, don't you think? And that about wraps up our video for today, folks. What do you think about Marvel's newest superhero? Do you think Scarlet Scarab is here to stay? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.